Welcome back everyone, Drake Hawkins with you again, and we're back for some more EU4 as Germany. We are 55 years, 56 years, somewhere in there, from the end of the game. Um, and we have Army von Matamba, the mighty force. Let's tell them to, we can't even tell them to conform, we can tell them to, to army up though. He's a fake unit, look, he's got zero dudes, I can't add anything to him. I can't, I can scorch earth. Why would I, where is he located? I can't tell. Let's zoom in really far. Can I scorch earth the English city? Before we get started, if you're enjoying the series, please hit that like button, it helps me out. And if you haven't already joined the clan, hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for more great content. <laughs> Apparently I can. <laughs> uh, I have super duper awesome spies here. Okay, let's, let's hire an army so we can at least have that guy gone. That's funny. Okay, you're headed to the capital. Let him to the English capital, as we all know, which is in Songi. At least the English have some pretty giraffes and a mighty star fort. Except for it's kind of a level... Oh, it is a level 8 star fort. Oh, it's a fortress. It is a proper fortress. Uh, you finish Moravia off. That's what we were doing there. Yep. And um, we have a diplomat. He should probably declare war, because why not? Uh, but we are on very Eurocentric time right now. You guys still part of that uh, silly nonsense coalition thing? You are. How about you? Yep, you are. Austria? Of course you are. Poland? You're not. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, there's not a lot in Poland that I'm really looking for for the target. I want Austria, France, and all of Italy. I mean, and the Iberia Peninsula, but that's kind of a secondary. Well, I think we finish off this French, or English, rather. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> that didn't take long at all. Uh, you can come back here. Can I declare war on Brittany? I can not, apparently. May not start over some of you have a transfer trade power nation. Oh. That's probably going to cause a peace treaty. Now, can I declare war on him? Yeah, not until October 30th. Oh, I've guaranteed him, apparently. All right, we did that last time to see if that would cause uh, him to declare us part of a battle. But no, apparently not. Okay, Moravia. Do you want out of here now? You probably can't. Not co-belligerent in this war. Taking provinces will cost us as much. Uh, I don't really care, Moravia. I really don't care. How about we just let you leave the war? That would be a grand idea. You should uh, annul your treaties with England, because I want England to pay, because it's amusing that way. And, uh... I don't care. I really don't want any of this territory. We can't afford taking any of it anyways. Revoke cores. Uh, nope. Doesn't matter. Mmm... End your alliance with Cuba. That's funny. Uh, give me a... Oh, wait, I can't do any of that. Mm. He will wait peace, but he probably won't do much. Oh, no, he does that. Really? Hmm. Definitely know your treaties with England. Oh, or do I? Hmm. Yes, I do. Separate peace. Good. Uh, and... Why can I not do more than that? That's weird. I have 71% war score with you, and you just... All right, dude, just go away. Lots of points. Nope, that's too many points of cash. There we go. Get out of my war, mister. All right, good. You come back down into home turf. Actually, you can come here for home turf, and then up this way. Or however far it takes you. And, oh good. An auto kill on a thousand dudes. Into the capital! To La not London. To the other place that's now the capital. Stop occupying my non-existent forts. Kind of rude like that. Alright. 
Fine, just keep occupying my... Hey, look, our non-zero army. Welcome, non-zero army guy. You're a regular army, aren't you? Yeah, you're a regular unit. Come over here. We'll get you to form up in the real army here soon. I don't know if I actually... Oh, hi. Oh. There's 26,000 dudes there. Peace offer from Mantua. Go away. I can't peace offer you. Not the way I want to. Actually, I don't know. Can I? Can, did I? Did we talk about this last time? Can I actually... Oh, I can't vassalize him. Can I? Because he's still technically a vassal of somebody else. Which is so gamey stupid. It didn't end the vassal status. Is what I think is going on there. Right? Yeah, he's still a vassal of Poland. But he's in an independent war with me. And Poland is... How do you... How are you still his overlord? This is silly. You have M Mantua as a vassal. And yet, you're at war with me. Or you're not at war with me, rather. I can force religion on him. That's funny. Can I force religion and... T that would be pointless. I was going to say, and take his provinces. But taking his provinces is going to cost us... What was it? 40... What? Oh, it's less... I thought it was 43 before, but anyways, 41.1 overextension, which of course we can't handle, and that's why we haven't done it, because right now we're at 86.5, so we got a long ways to wait on some of these. German Mexico treasure fleet, it's a good thing they gave me spending money for the weekend. It's about what their income is worth to my nation. Aha! New infantry and new cavalry. Do we activate them now? I think there's pretty much nothing we're doing except for what's going on down in this area. Um, yeah, I think we'll update the units. We can do that right now. Mm, defensive fire. I like that. Square infantry. Uh, these guys, right? Yeah. Mm, Lancers, Corsairs, or Shoso... Sh Chassau? Chassau? I don't know. I don't know how you pronounce that. I'm not French. Uh, charge, 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 smash, boom. Let's go with these guys. That drops a lot of our morale off. <laughs> Military leaders left us. Noel the 43rd has left us, guys. Theologian has died. Oh, nuts. Um, can we get another... Another administrative leader. Um, that'd be nice. A missionary. Missionary leader. Where are you, missionary leader? There you are. Are you actually... You're Westphalian. Ooh. Westphalian. That is excellent. And I will up that number two. Up the daisy. Nice. Love it. Okay, you're back. Now, what about our leader? Oh, that was you. Hmm. Oops. That's not great. We need a new leader for you, but we can't, of course, because... Mm, oh. That's awkward. Is that a fortress? No, it's not. Excuse me, sir. Can I have my morale back? Please? Oops. Oops, I went and chased him down and didn't actually chase him down. Increasing like, larger armies every step we take. Good. Go that way. Do the things. Take the stuff back. Listen, buddy. Don't like you smashing around in my troops. Bribes are more accepted. Are they really, though? I don't like the fact that I did this and the morale is really crappy because they're not gaining very much. Oh, they're not gaining any morale back because I had them on Force March. Oops. That could get me killed. Oh, he's going the other way. Oh, no, he's coming back my way. There we go. Now we're regaining some morale. Good. All right. You come down here. You come down here. You come down here. And you, come down here. Excellent. That was a very systematic success. 
Good, look, all occupied, everything's happy again. Now, we gotta go knock off some Englishmen. I just kind of want to find the army. I really, I mean, there's the army, so let's go kill it. Conversion successful. Okay. Ooh, a new idea. I have an idea. It is called Fast Negotiations. Caravan power increased 25% and will conclude the trade, giving us another merchant. Where do we put said merchant? I am unsure. Let us look. Trade routes. We have no merchant in Zanzibar. Oh, I guess we really don't need one because pretty much everything's flowing that way anyways. Except for what's being collected. What? Where? Where's all my merchants? Thought you. I thought there was one up here too. Hmm. I think we put one in. We should put one in there for sure. Good. Move me some trade. Uh, do some more preachiness. I think we did a. Yeah, we did a Sunni last time, so we'll do a Catholic this time. Just kind of swap back and forth. Make sure it's nice and fair. Good quality. Uh, fairness in the very aggressive religious behavior. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You're gonna get beat up, Oyo. Alright. Peace offer from Mantua. I think no. How are we doing with uh, tariffs on coffee? That's not how we're doing. Um, I would like to see what's the thing? This. Close. We're getting there. We're getting there. A couple of them are starting to tick over. They'll be coring momentarily. Can I just say go hunt this guy instead of go to a specific province? And you just track him down for me, will you? Is there a hunt enemy units command? Can I tell him to do that? Well, apparently not, but it's going to work anyways. You walked right into that, buddy. Like, straight on into that. Zero scouts, or what? I guess not. You're very few cavalry. Oh, and you're gone. All Englishmen cleared from the map. Um, let's do this. Let time tick. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Give me some provinces, please. This is how you blanket siege for real. 1k per province. Any more? Yep. That's awesome. This is the hyper siege mode. Come on. That should be fine for now. <laughs> it's just a little ridiculous. Oh, another, another, another. You, you look like you got that green thing. Uh, siege, everything. Just take all the stuff, please. Please, what, Safala? Why is Safala being seen? You guys are kind of rude. How dare you siege out my territory while I'm sieging out your territory. This is not even remotely fair. <laughs> All right, go crush them. Uh, I don't know, go up this way and then come down this way. Whatever works. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. See, I, I'm getting spammed because I spammed out those guys. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay. Rebels and Merca. Merca. Merca has rebels. Ajaran Separatists. Ooh, maybe they'll cross the, the line. They'll take this one and they'll cross the line into this place and the Ethiopians will knock them out. Way to go, Ethiopia. My Coptic friends. Coptic Christianity sounds just about the same as, as Reform, right? That counts. Can you consolidate up to a spa space marine, please? Love it, thanks. Go away, Mantua. We don't even want to look at you right now. Uh, let's siege everything, shall we? I mean, it's really redundant. I can take whatever I want right now, but what I want right now 
Just for this to go away. Ooh, it's, it's depleting. That's good. Um, I need it to get down below, down to about 50. It's got to be below 55, actually. Can we just, all of this, just come here. Oops, didn't work. Select all except for that one. Just come here. No. <laughs> Darn it. All except that one I meant to say. Alright. We didn't accept. Okay, there we go. Everybody. I'm just gonna get these guys single stack killed if I try to run them all over and be all smart about it. Alright. The Azuran Separatist. Naples has left the military coalition against us. That was smart of you, Naples. Hmm. Still independence guaranteed by Spain. Um. Urbino, you need to leave because you've got Poland and Naples as an allies. As an allies. Uh, alliance with France guaranteed by Spain. Brittany has been destroyed. Well, that's unfortunate. I like that the coalition is disappearing. It's nice. I mean, it's not going to last. The, the coalition is definitely going to be like, whoops, I think we forgot. We had a whole bunch of bad things happen. And we kind of forgot we had all these. There we go. Urbino's left. Uh, Urbino. If I declare war on you, what happens? I bet you're still... You're still Allied with Poland and Naples. See if see if Poland's gonna respond to this one. What do you think, guys? You think Poland will like actually get the message? Um, you can attach. You come down south, I think. We'll see. We'll see when we uh, do this. Declare war. Naples and Poland. I don't want to co-belligerent any of those. Pull the trigger! Bam! Who joined in that war? Oh, they all did. Poland, Lithuania, and Naples. Alright. That's interesting. I kind of was wondering if we were going to get the same sort of silliness as last time. Can we, can we have a better number of names for my armies? Because they really suck. <laughs> like, they don't, it doesn't even calculate, hey, you already have a guy named Johann Friedrich Karl. Let's give you another Johann Friedrich Karl. Because that's, oh, and Wilhelm Schumann. That's also a great idea. Uh, Wenzel Guer, Guer, Guer? I don't know. Wenzel's awesome. He's got my, my king's name, so of course he's awesome. You are... Uh, you can go away. And you can go away. Good. Alright. Uh, let him make the move. Okay, we got, we got a whole lot of fight to go on here. So let's think about this. You guys can come down and join here. Actually, here first. And here. Wait a second. Why is that... How is that even possible? That can't be... Oh, this province... Oh, I see. Okay. I guess it's acceptable. You go down there as well. Okay. You three dudes can head over this way. And you can go to Riga. Right? Yeah, you can pop into Riga. That'd be lovely. Lovely bunch of coconuts. Um, my king is pretty epic sauce. So I think that's fine. He can get in the fight. And you need a leader, which we don't have any points for. Okay. Uh... Okay. I want you to take out this fortress. I want you to take out that fortress. I want each of you to have backup units. 
good. We'll start the siege down there. You guys are going to join there and there. Good. Let him make his commitment move. He's committed and he spawned a, a three-star general for us. That's awesome. Uh, what else is going on down here? Are we done this nonsense with England? Not yet, huh? We have to end it after we get a little more of this going on. I basically... Nice. That was Urbino's army. That was uh, short-lived for sure. Can you take Rome for me, please? You guys get into Urbino. Now, this war is against Urbino, so taking that is kind of our primary, and taking Naples territory. Again, it's all about how fast we can um, core things. We got a whole bunch of overextension dissipating right away, right around the corner. France is unfortunately about to finish taking over Brittany. And we have, uh, well, we're spawning another uh, space marines up there, which is slightly amusing. Uh, England has taken all of the <laughs> Zanzibar coast, basically. Uh, the AI. The AI and their spamminess. Okay. Get down here. Start killing, crushing, and destroying. Um, there's 42,000 French troops running through our African coast. Why, France? Why? Who are you at war with? Brittany and England. <laughs> England is allied with... Oh, that's funny. Um, war with England. Just England, huh? Can I sue for peace with you, England? What's it going to take? Or what's it, what are we going to take for overextension? 15.5% overextension. What else can I force from you? Can't enforce religion. You're too big. War reparations, obviously. Uh, military access, military access, military access. Hmm. Return cores to Cuba. Oh, I like that. Release nation. Uh, Ndongo. <laughs> Lunda. Oh, that would be lovely. <laughs> oh, this is great. We could tear the crap out of them. Oh, we just spawned like half of the African Central Coast or provinces again. Uh, we can give this and this and this back. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. That's so lovely. <laughs> well, the amount of messing up this area we can do. <laughs> England, King of G Border Gore. <laughs> Oh, I love this. This is too fun. All right. We have um, dealt with the English probably once and for all. What do you think? <laughs> I like it. Okay, so we're going to absolutely obliterate all that. And France is going to be all like, wait, what? Wait, where did England go? And their capital will still be up here through a bunch of other territory. I love it. Okay, so that will cost us 15.5 over extension. Let's close that momentarily. Just got to make sure I'm doing this right so I don't cause any nonsense. 15.5, and we have 28 points to spare. Okay, we will do that peace treaty. And, uh, nope, they won't take 700 gold. They're just like, nope, that would break us. We couldn't possibly give you an extra 100 gold. That would just be mean the end of England. Tunisian separatists spawn right when I hit that button. Farewell, England. It was good to know you. Um, that's beautiful. Look, German Britain, all nicely unified. Like it. Like it lots. You guys all need to come back here now. And uh, we're dropping off in Riga, right? And then we need to send the fleet down and pick up that giant army that's poking around in, in Europe. We also have Tunisian issues. Apparently 52,000 Tunisians just spawned. Hmm. 
unpleasant. So maybe that navy needs to head back south again. Uh, yeah, I think that's what we'll do. That navy should head south to somewhere, like there. What, what's going on here? Oh, making cores there. Okay. Uh, where's the overextension? There, there, and there. All right. Good. I like that. So we're at 87.3 overextension. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, about eight provinces. Probably about 30 or 40 percent. It would be nice if it was 40. That would be enough percentage-wise to make sure we cleared up the Mantua issue. You guys are moving in to take Urbino. You're moving in to take Rome. Roma, the province. And you guys, I guess, should probably head south instead of what I was doing. We'll head south and take out... Ooh, can't get by Roma, huh? I guess not. All right. You can head over this way. The Polish have what for armies? Okay, I, uh, our side, there's 500, there's half a million infantry, 145,000 cavalry, 236,000 cannons, and he's got 152 in the infantry, 68 in the cavalry, and 64 in the artillery. Not counting our infantry, we have more troops than them. <laughs> All right, this shouldn't be too terribly hard to deal with. Uh, Austria's changed their government form to enlightened despotism. What? Wow, you're so smart, Austria. You're enlightened. Can I crush you now? Um, overextension's dangerously high at 83. I think we're okay for now, though. The rebels in Kilwa, huh? Mm. We're probably... Yeah. yeah. We're gonna have to bring this guy down, take care of the Tunisian rebellion, and these guys are gonna have to take care of all the other rebellions down here. Like these Ajaran separatists. Hmm. All right. Well, that'll be next episode. Thank you all for joining me. England's name is getting ever smaller. And it's small over here and here and here and here. England is divided into five parts of the African Central Continent now. It's beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> Welcome back, Lunda and Kasanje and Ndongo and Luba. And welcome, giant Kuba. You're also wonderful, and welcome back to Central Africa. Well, that's going to be it for today. Thank you all, and we will see you again tomorrow at 10. Bye now.